What's up guys? How are you guys doing? I'm doing well myself. So today I want to do something kind of fun. I saw this on TikTok and I thought it was just such a great idea and what it was was to make backdrop boards for photography or for creating content that you could do with Dollar Tree foam boards and parchment paper or wallpaper. So I went ahead and I purchased these large foam boards, one for a dollar at Dollar Tree and then I bought these wallpaper contact papers off of Amazon and the point of this is to put the wallpaper onto these boards and then you could interchange them like this and you have created cheap background board. Let's try this out. It's the vinyl self-adhesive wallpaper. This one is like fake wood print and basically all you have to do is stick the wallpaper onto the foam board which sounds easy enough. I'm gonna put the wallpaper down first and then the foam board over it. Line up the edges and draw a line to cut and then we're going to cut it. Boom. Now we are going to stick it onto the foam board. If I can get this sticker side open. There we go. Okay, now I feel like this is going to be the hard part. Okay, and then we're going to kind of line this up. Okay, so far it's going well, I think. Okay, try not to put any bubbles in this. I think I'm doing an okay job. Please be perfect. Please be perfect. Ooh. Ooh, this looks so good. Bam, now you have a creative space to put your products on and take some photography. Let's finish this up. I'm just gonna fold over this end right here. Actually, maybe I'll cut it off. I'll cut this off. I think that would be like a cleaner finish. Oh my gosh, what's happening? I think this would have been better with like a knife, like a razor. Yeah, cause that's all jaggedy, jag jaggedy now. I'll go back with the razor later, but this is good for now. I am going to do a second piece so that it looks actually the same piece. So I'm going to line this edge up with this edge of the wallpaper so that I have two full boards and I will show you why after. I'm not sure why this one is causing bubbles when the other one didn't. thought it was crooked. Okay, maybe we can start from the bottom and go up. Okay, we'll try that because I feel like the wallpaper wasn't straight. So when I was trying to put it on, it was getting like really crooked and bubbly, but the bottom up this way is straight as long as I line it up properly. Okay, okay, that looks good, that looks good. So we got the edge down first. I don't know how that first one came out so good and this one's just like not. Maybe it was like beginner's luck. I'm doing everything the right way. This was like really fun five minutes ago and it's turning out to be not so fun. Come on, Julia, you can do this. We only got one down. We have like 10 more to go. Do you hate it when you pick an uh, arts and crafts to do and then you think it's going to be really easy because TikTok shows it to you in 10 seconds and it looks like a 10 second arts and crafts and then realize it's actually kind of hard because that's what is running through my head right now. We did it. Yay. So the reason I wanted to do two was so that I can put them together like this. Ta-da! That looks so professional. That's how I shoot my B-roll. Or you can do product flat lays like this. And it looks so good. It looks so real. No one would ever know that this is a Dollar Tree foam board. So this is two pieces. So this is the bottom piece. And that's the top piece. And then I connected it here. Your product. And then you can get a really good product photo like this. Okay, now that we did that, we can move on to some other wallpaper. For the video's sake, I'm not gonna do this part right here, but after I am done with this video, I'm gonna go back and fill in these white spaces. And originally on TikTok, what I saw was that the girl was taping these parts first and then putting the wallpaper, so it's like a whole book almost. She would like fold it and add another one right here like this. She would take tape it here, you would fold it, and then tape another one, and then fold it, so that in a way it became like a book. So if you do it that method with tape, it'll be like a book of backgrounds you could choose from. I, on the other hand, I didn't 
want to glue or tape the sides down like a book because then you're kind of limited to just using this page where I wanted to be able to interchange the different pieces which I will show you in a bit. Yeah, so let's do a different design for this one. I was the most excited for this one. I know it's the one that looks the least real, the least, the least wallpapery and it's more like a tile like Moroccan pattern but I thought it was so cute. Look how pretty that is! Yeah, so this is what I meant is that I wanted my backgrounds to be interchangeable. So like this or like this. Whereas if it was in a book, then I would have to only use this forever. And that's not what we want. We want it to be interchangeable. Look at how pretty this pattern is. Literally. If you put it against this wooden one, Let's bring the book back there. Now, when we put the book here like this with two different backgrounds, it gives it a completely different feel. The foam boards you can honestly buy anywhere, but other places are like $2.99. And then, you know, if you want a lot of them, why spend more when you can spend less at Dollar Tree? I will tell you guys how, well, how big this is, but it doesn't really say on the label. Or maybe I'll just add it here. I'm gonna continue to wrap all the foam boards and then we can go over them after I am completed so you can see all the designs. Three hours later. Wow, that took so much longer than I thought it would. But we are finished. All my boards and I covered all the sides to them. So this is the black wooden board. And I also got a brick variation. But I will say it was really hard to line up the edges. So it might look a little off, but thankfully I'm pretty decent at Photoshop, so I felt like that was okay. I'm really happy how these turned out. It was a bit of a challenge sticking all these wallpapers on, and I don't know if I was doing it wrong, if there's a better wallpaper sticking on method, but overall I think the craft turned out great. I have amazing backgrounds to shoot my flat lays and ultimately it was really cheap this way you can pick your own wallpaper you can pick your own background i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of how to and if you did don't forget to click that subscribe button if you have any comments or any questions or even like general questions or maybe something you guys will want to see me do don't hesitate to leave a comment below and that's it for today bye <coughs> Behind the scenes, look at the mess I made.